Carbapenems are a class of beta-lactam antibiotics with broad spectrum of activity. Carbapenems are highly effective against a wide range of gram-positive, gram-negative, and anaerobic bacteria. They are often reserved for severe infections due to their broad spectrum and effectiveness against resistant organisms. In this video, we will discuss some important clinical pharmacology pearls about these carbapenems. So let's get started. Carbapenems have a large volume of distribution, which mean they penetrate well into tissues and fluids, including the lungs, skin, and intra-abdominal space. They also achieve good penetration into the central nervous system, particularly meropenem. Use in multidrug-resistant infections. Carbapenems are often reserved for infections caused by multidrug-resistant organisms, such as extended-spectrum beta-lactamase, ESBL-producing bacteria, due to their broad spectrum of activity and potency. Carbapenems are excellent for treating infections caused by anaerobic bacteria, making them useful in intra-abdominal infections and diabetic foot infections. Imipenem is associated with a higher risk of seizures, particularly in patients with renal impairment or those receiving high doses. Meropenem and other carbapenems have a lower seizure risk, but should still be used cautiously in patients with a history of seizures. So, caution is advised, and dosing adjustments are necessary in renal dysfunction. Carbapenems, especially imipenem, can significantly decrease levels of valproic acid, potentially leading to breakthrough seizures. Alternative antibiotics or close monitoring are recommended for patients on valproic acid therapy for epilepsy. Dose adjustments are necessary in patients with renal impairment, because carbapenems are primarily excreted via the kidneys. Imipenem, meropenem, and doropenem are excreted predominantly unchanged in the urine. Ertapenem is also excreted mainly through the kidneys, but has a longer half-life compared to the others. So monitor renal function closely and adjust the dose accordingly. Imipenem is co-administered with celastatin to prevent its rapid metabolism by renal dehydropeptidase 1 enzyme which helps to maintain effective levels of imipenem and prevent renal toxicity. While ertapenem is effective against many pathogens, it has limited activity against Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Acinetobacter baumannii, and Enterococcus species. So, ertapenem is less effective against these organisms as compared to other carbapenems. Last but not the least, carbapenems exhibit time-dependent bacterial killing which mean that their efficacy is more related to the duration of time that drug concentrations exceed the minimum inhibitory concentration of the pathogen. Carbapenems also have a post-antibiotic effect on many pathogens, which means that bacterial growth is inhibited even after drug levels have fallen below the MIC. These pharmacology pearls provide practical insights into the use of carbapenems in clinical practice, helping to optimize their effectiveness while minimizing potential risks and complications. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments below which drug class you'd like to see Clinical Pearls on next. Keep learning, keep growing, and see you next time. Thank you.